I'm often asked to share my story in hopes of motivating the audiences that I'm speaking to, but here's the thing. I don't believe it's responsible to rely on motivation. So I happily share my story, but it's always my mission to inspire the people I'm speaking to you to shift their perspective of how they see themselves and the standards that they're living with. Because to me, motivation is just like boiling water. It requires an outside source to heat up. But what happens when you remove that outside source? The water gets cold. So just like that external heat source, motivation is unreliable. And if you attempt to rely on motivation to show up and do the things that you know you need to be doing, then you've already lost. Because those who win in life are the ones that show up with an intrinsic drive to succeed. Now, what I love most about being here is what it took to be in this moment. It wasn't easy, but I chose to show up regardless of my circumstances. And that's what most of my content is about. A willingness to show up when times are tough and when I don't feel like it. Now, people can look at my life and say how lucky I am to be here and make excuses for why they're not where they want to be. And they often do. Probably will some more. But that's the thing about people that wish to create success. They wait to feel motivated and make excuses while those who do create success in their lives are the ones that show up regardless of the circumstances. And that's why I see success as a mindset. It's not what you have. It's how you show up regardless of feeling motivated. Now, I don't always feel motivated, especially when life decides to kick me in the teeth. But my process and being obsessed with that process of creating my most ideal life is what keeps me going. Now, I've learned early on how to leverage adversity in my life to become better personally and professionally. And I've distilled what's helped me down to these three skills. Enduring pain, regulating myself in high pressure situations, and adapting to new environments. Now, whether you realize it or not, you've been leveraging adversity to be in this moment. And you may not be fully aware of it just yet, but you possess the same potential of these skills as all high performers embody. And you may not even consider yourself a high performer, and that's okay. But it's my objective to shift your perspective of how you see yourself and to focus on these three skills moving forward so that way you can win in all domains of life. See, my mindset was forged from pain. I wasn't born gifted with a resilient mind. I created it. And it's always been the vision for my most ideal life that keeps me moving when I feel like quitting. And especially on those days, I remind myself to focus on showing up the best that I can by plugging into my process of taking care of my mind and my body. Now, no matter how much pain I've been in, and I've been in a ton, I've been able to leverage this mindset in all the times where it feels like life's kicking me when I'm already down. Now, I've made sense of my life and who I am, and I realize that I choose this mindset. And it's my objective to continue sharing my story, but more importantly, show people how they can choose to adopt this mindset to create momentum towards their ideal life, no matter what their circumstances are.